So if you're just tuning in, this is going to be an interesting one, but probably not for the reasons you think. We are going to be doing some full painting techniques while we are so sleep deprived that we are starting to hallucinate. And when I say we, I basically mean me, the dude in the video, and I refer to myself as we. Why? I have no clue. I don't know. It just seemed like the thing to say. And so today, we're going to see how that goes. First thing you're going to notice is I start to lose my ability to concentrate. And I'm on the verge of starting to hallucinate. So as you watch this, you'll see that I do a lot of spinning in circles, looking for things that I shouldn't, I should know where they're at, and trying to figure out what to do next. And well, let's just get into it. All right. Now that we've, uh, all right, now that we've, what the heck? Uh, all right, now that we, uh, all right, now that we got all our prep work done, let's actually start painting. First step, put down our base coat, small areas. We actually want to work with it while the paint's semi-drying, so let's do that now. That's my alarm going off to double check on the guys because they got to be uh, wrapping up here in a minute. All right, so what we got to do is brush on this color, the base color, um, but we don't have to brush it all the way on. We're actually going to use the color that's already on the wall to add one more layer into kind of our depth of color. Now, I don't really like pink. So I don't want a whole lot of it showing up underneath, but just having to kind of play peekaboo once in a while is pretty cool. Kind of draws the eye in. This paint, when it starts to get tacky, we want to get rid of the brush marks. Now in what I do, I don't want to see brush marks and whatever you guys do, you may want to. And you know what? Beans are cool. That's my way of saying there's no right way and there's no wrong way of doing it. Just have fun your own way. When you add sound effects, it makes painting more fun. Sometimes I like to make noises and then try to figure out what I am. And I'm the one making the noise, so I should know. All right, so we are going to stop this at about right there. Ow, dang, getting old sucks. I think I'm getting arthritis in my shoulder. Hey, Frankie, yeah? you got arthritis anywhere? I don't know, I'm just sore, I'm sore, but I don't know if it's arthritis or not. You know, the genetics get arthritis and uh, I don't know if I'm getting it or not, but man, just aches. Crap just aches. Getting old sucks, but it's better than the alternative. So we're gonna be using the plastic bag to eliminate brush marks. The crinklier the plastic bag, the better. And what you're doing is you are gonna be doing this a lot. Just, just get used to it, like, cause it's, Going to be part of your routine. It's, you're going to dream about doing this at night. You're going to be like, oh man, if I would have just crinkle crunched that one spot a little better, my whole my whole artistic vision would have came to get that together. Just trying to get that the brush marks to disappear and the uh, uh, color underneath to just to start peeking through. What it boils down to. With our base layer down and little bits of the paint underneath peeking through, it's now time to add our custom color, which becomes our second layer. And this is where we let the layering begin. 
Now this turned out to be way more white than what I wanted, so I've got absolutely no problem going back to my base color and darkening it up. And that's actually going to make all of the other colors kind of peek through, which is what we want for this effect. Alright, so I've got the base look down. Now this is where the flow troll comes in. This will start to give it that translucent. And it looks white. Now one thing to point out, I'm not smearing. I'm not taking that bag and just running it across the wall. I'm actually intentionally lifting it up and down to make sure that the crisp edges of the bag are coming through the pattern below. Everything together and make the colors seem like they're fading. Although I'm using a lot of different colors, I'm not letting them all goo into one indistinct mass. I'm making sure that I'm layering and keeping each layer separate, which is a little bit tricky, but you can see how I'm doing it. I'm more white on my upper cabinets than I am on my lower ones. And so with that being said, I gotta go back to adding brown. Actually, it's not a bad thing. Because what'll happen, and I don't want I don't want to model, I don't want to get this all just one <clears throat> mishmash. I want the colors to, to play, you know, hide and seek. Um, but I want to add a little bit more brown on the top, bagging it, because what that will do is that will then actually add another layer on a layer on a layer. So at any point. Whenever I screw up, it's easy enough just to go back to adding more colors and it actually benefits the overall paint scheme because it adds more layers and deepens the effect. It's kind of a win-win. Sucks. My bad. Let's fix it. We gotta fix it. One of my rules is you don't move on to come back to a problem area because then you all never want to come back to that problem area. Just bang it out, baby. That's what she said. That's what she said. All right, I think we're getting to the leathery stage. That looks actually kind of cool just like that. I don't know, I think it does. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if you guys do or not, but Dang, I think I kind of like it just like that. Dude, this is fun. I love doing this crap. That's why I'm staying up. I like tried to lay down and I'm like, nah, I kind of want to go paint. I gotta call my crews and see if they're still out. Alex? Yeah? Hey, are you guys still out? Yeah, we're just wrapping up right now. I was just about to text you. Oh, okay. What do you think, you got another 30 minutes or so? Uh, 15. Okay, sounds cool, everything go okay? Yep, everything went good, yeah. So my rule is I never go to sleep while I have guys out working in the field and they were doing some last minute cleanups. All right, crews are done, but our fun's just begun. I grew up eating Hungry Man's, I like them. I really do. All right, this is my wife's fingernail polish thing. I want black. That smells ooh, awful. Holy crap. I need black, but I don't have it. And you know what they say about black? That it's technically not a color. It's actually the presence of all colors combined. What else would they say about it? Okay. Got one last spot. I can look for black. Yes! That's exactly what I need. All right. So now we get into this crazy marbling technique, and that's where a pencil comes in. All we do is take a little white. Boop, 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 boop. And then we just, and I like to roll it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, the streets are swollen. Keep them doggies rolling raw hard. 
Rain and wind and weather, hell bent for leather. Soon we'll be living high and wide. My heart's calculating, my true love will be waiting, waiting at the end of my ride. All right, so now that I got a little bit of those lines, we're gonna, we're gonna cross them. Don't cross the streams. We're crossing the streams, brother. A little bit of brown. Let it go on its own course. And now we are going to cover all that up. By taking a little tiny, tiny bit of translucence. Where's my translucence? I'm going to leave some of the lines strong and some not. We can kind of carry that out or we can uh, erase it if we don't like what we did. We just do a little more brown and a little translucent. We go back and forth and then. Okay, so we want to add a little bit more. You can see we've got our base color, that pink is still popping through all the other stuff. And take a little touch of black. I don't care, do whatever you want to do at your house because you live there. I live here. It's its own line. Oh, I don't know if I like that line. No, I actually don't. But it doesn't matter. There we are. Now, tame it down. Time to tame it down. I get that black line there. Blend it in, oh, all that, oh, eh, 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 eh. black, okay, uh, black tends to spread, that's right. This black, I don't even know what it is. I actually have no clue what it is. I don't know what that is, but it's black. I was actually thinking of using a magic marker. Not joking. Do what you want to do at your house. Don't judge me. I won't invite you over for Thanksgiving. All right, and that's it. We're good. I mean, you can sit and play with this all day long. Oh, one of the things I do want to point out is, I do like to add some dark lines of the base color, the darker brown. I, I just love it when those kind of, and I like to leave them a little bit strong once in a while so you can see how it is. But I've discovered that this brown, this fresh brown that we just put on, will blend in on its own with the color beneath it, right? And so it almost like it's like almost invisible to the eye, but your eye still picks it up. It's bizarre, but cool at the same time. And have fun with your paint technique, your paint technique, your paint technique. Your paint technique. Just go and have fun with your paint technique. That's all I got for today. Mm -mm. God bless you guys. Go get them. And uh, let me know if you want me to do more videos when I'm sleep deprived because uh, pretty easy to do. I thought it was an interesting subject and maybe I'm stupid for doing it, but I did it. I've done stupid things in my life. Got to admit it. See you in the next one.